the next great wave in Kansas City. Who would have thought that we'd have so many bikes downtown? Who would have thought that we'd have so many people riding motor scooters, little scooters downtown? I am interested in making sure that we continue to fund transportation so we can make sure we understand what the next great wave is going to be. We started out with bikes, now we see everybody on little, little motor scooters. I'm waiting to see what's going to be next in Kansas City, great in transportation. I want to be on the city council so we can help plan out what the next 10, 15, 20 years will look like with transportation to make sure that our young people are involved in those uh, conversations and those discussions to lead us to the next generation. So my name is Wayne Green in front of the city council. Big district at large, I look forward to being your city councilman at large. Thank you so much. B. Barnes, Jr., 5th District at Large, City Councilman running for re-election. It is, it's, it is clear that we have a, a, a gap to fill in terms of trying to get regional transportation here in Kansas City. I think my colleagues and I over the last four years have done a great job of uh, pushing forward with uh, all modes of transportation here in, within Kansas City. The next step, the next wave is going to be how do we expand it regionally. And there have been some suggestions here in terms of uh, dealing with the counties and the other municipalities in terms of getting them involved. And I think that's what we're going to have to do and strongly push and urge them to get involved in terms of funding uh, this, these different modes of transportation because that will only strengthen the entire region. Again, my name is Lee Barnes, Jr., 5th District at large. Eric Bunch, 4th uh, in District, uh, and, and as the Policy Director at Michael KC, I've been directly involved in affecting transportation policy at, in Kansas City, Missouri, but also other municipalities. And I've been I'm very proud of the work that, that I have been a part of, getting $150 million set aside of the geo block of sidewalks, changing the property owner responsibility uh, for maintaining those sidewalks, uh, which is a huge deal. Uh, that was something that I'm very proud of doing, and, and I, I am excited to, to continue the progress we've made there. Um, but I think it, it, it can't stop at those things. We have to we have to look to the future, and I think for too long we have been deciding on how to spend our scarce resources by throwing darts at a map. And we need to get serious, we need to get strategic, and I think it starts with uh, I'm actually a big fan of Councilman Justice's plan to, to create a transit. A, 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 Department of Transportation at the city to actually start to drill down on real transportation-related policy because right now we're operating in a vacuum and that's problematic. And so I really look forward to uh, taking on that big picture approach and and working towards creating a transportation department. Thank you, all. Jeff Jolly, Fourth District and District. Thank you everybody for coming out tonight in inclement weather. Uh, we appreciate it as council candidates. Uh, we know you could have been in a mayoral forum, and you chose to be here instead, and we appreciate that. Um, look, I'll, let me just say, you know, I, my goal here is to be your voice in City Hall. I mean, at, at the end of the day, I think that, that your elected officials need to represent you and your priorities. I believe that I can do that effectively, that I have a history of doing that. And if you, you know, look at my past, both as a firefighter serving our community, but also in a congressional office, like I have experience representing people and, and championing their causes. And I believe that that's something that I'll be able to take to City Hall. So I look forward to working with you all. Don't forget to get out and vote on June 18th, preferably for me, but at least get out and vote on June 18th. If nothing else, thanks so much. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> Brandon Ellings at 3rd District at Large. City Council, citywide. On the push card that I passed out, I actually have improved transit on it. The only reason I said that is because I grew up poor, so when we talk about transportation opportunities, I believe it. It's not something I'm just talking about. I also believe in being smart on government, meaning I believe in being smart on taxation. That's why I'm not overtly in favor of sales taxes. I believe in being smart when it comes to reducing crime. I believe in being smart when it comes to ensuring that we have city services that are actually adequate and are, are, are easy accessible. And as me as a third district council person, you have somebody that has a proven track record of bending over and doing things out of necessity and not because you know I'm going to get an award or something like that. So please, uh, third district city council at large, Brandon Ellis. Good evening, Kevin McAvoy once more uh, for second district in district. Like I've mentioned a couple times, I'm a solutions guy. Okay, so we look at what we need in the Northland. Well, we need Northland and District 2 are safe sidewalks for our kids. 
Uh, and we need them starting from our schools, starting from our parks, and reaching out into the community. We need to get better bus lines up into the Northland, get people opportunities to travel downtown, do it more efficiently, leave their car at home when they can, and uh, do it for the benefit of our city in general. We have opportunities uh, to advance our city uh, and the opportunities that we all have. Uh, I, love, I love what they said that, that, that transportation is freedom, and we give people opportunities for, for new jobs, new parts of the community where they can access, and so we need to be looking on our transit lines where we have opportunities to grow. Uh, do we have excess buses that aren't being properly used? Okay, let's find out how we develop those areas. Do we have jobs that are not being served? Let's find ways to get lines to go there to serve those communities. So like I said, transportation is freedom. We have a lot of opportunities to advance Kansas City over the next four years. Kevin back in Boyce 2nd District. Thank you very much. David Fowler, 2nd District, King District. Uh, as part of my duties, I'm a member of the National League of Cities, where I serve on the Transportation Infrastructure Advisory Committee. I can tell you, having been to multiple meetings, these same discussions are happening nationwide. I'm very happy to say that in many respects, Kansas City is a leader. Now, it's not to say that we need to stop or that we aren't behind the eight ball in many respects, but we are in many respects leading the way. Uh, I'm the guy who's been leaning on Robbie Mackman at KCATA for the last three years, four years, to get better transportation in the Northland, get better job or better mass transit to the job centers. We've had some success with that. Uh, we now have a shuttle that goes over the KCI corridor that gets people to the jobs up there. So we've had some success, but we need more, and that really means more regional assets to be brought into that conversation. I intend to keep working on that and to keep pushing that forward. And uh, uh, as uh, Jeff said, uh, please get out and vote on April uh, 18th. Thank you. Jim, thank you. Jim, Jim, I could argue that April already passed. If only we had more time. Yeah. Well, I'm first going to contest Ed's description of his first bike being cool because I didn't hear banana seed, large hand, <laughs> nor did I hear baseball cards flapping in your spokes. Yeah. Um, that was before his Yeah. <laughs> it was all before I <laughs> So I've, I've lived in this city all my life, and I believe the a KCA RATA is being run now by a guy that, uh, a guy named Robbie Mackinnon, who is, is doing a lot of things that I really appreciate outside of the box. He's really into public and private funding, and we have to have that for this for, for full transportation funding. And so I think working with the KCATA leadership, working with the council, I think we just need to remedy a lot of these issues that we're all we've all talked about today. So thank you. And thank you for coming tonight. It, it was a lousy night. So thank you. Much like local broadcast media, running for local office isn't as glamorous as some may think. So um, if we could just give a round of applause to all of these candidates for being out tonight. And thank you all so much for coming out. It's so vitally important to have you all involved. So thank you for your engagement. Uh, if you want to learn more about where the candidates stand on issues related to multimodal transportation, Bike Walk KC has gathered responses to their questionnaire. You can find those on bikewalkkc.org. Thank you so much for coming and have a great evening.